Gemini. There is something about the moonlight right now that is almost like giving you a vitamin shot, almost like a B12 shot if you've ever gotten one. Um, because what it's doing is it's deconstructing everything inside of you that was being blocked or felt repressed or that you didn't want to look at, had put away and hid away somewhere. And it's cleansing it. It's, it's sort of wrapping it in this environment of all acceptance, unconditional acceptance. So it's enabling you to basically confront the devil and the demon without hating it. Um, in fact, there's this sense of reconnection with all aspects of yourself so that you can regain your sense of self again. When I first saw the cards in front of me, I thought to myself, wow, Gemini, it almost, it's, it's almost like the scenario of finally having somebody's boot and heavy foot taken off of your neck so that now you're free to, it's like you're back to yourself. You're back to being able to um, express who you are without worrying or wondering or the scrutiny of what everything you say means. There was also, however, this amazing sense of being so connected to the divine and, and that you don't feel disconnected anymore or you don't feel the need to have to go and grab somebody else to feel connected to because it's like you're back. You're back to being within the vibration, the symphony, the harmony all around you. You've tuned up yourself and that was through introspection. That was through being able to finally arrive at some conclusions about those things that you are going through inside and without hatred, without disgust, um, and with full acceptance, not that they belong there, but that, okay, they're here. And now objectively, I'm going to be able to do something about them because they don't scare me and they're not running amok. It's like taking control over, over your life again. Um, yeah, there's this wonderful kind of heart opening to you right now, a, a time of, of possibility where you're, you're liberated from being worried or scared um, that you're going to bring everything, destroy your life or bring everything down around you because you've made the wrong choice. At that, at now, it's almost, it's almost like I'm going to say this. It's like you're giving yourself the win with before you officially get the word that you've won, simply because you have You've stood up for yourself. You have uh, come back into yourself and you have demonstrated your worth and your value um, to you, which is the person that matters the most. Think about a lot about the crown chakra here. I'm not trying to show you my boobs. This is just the crown chakra energy. So many downloads are going to be coming to you right in this energy, in this Piscean energy. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you were overcome with inspiration and artistic prowess, artistic, um, like almost vomiting all over your canvas. Uh, even if you're not a studio artist, there is just a sense of getting back into your art and really feeling inspired by the art again, instead of depressed by it, depressed by the monotony or by the insistence of, you know, marketing, replacing art. There's, there's the, this sense of falsehood being driven out once and for all. Um, and, and the real, the truth now coming back into play. Now, this is all very philosophical, but it does play out in your real world by you, being liberated from the need to justify all of your actions. There is something going on that has to do with court proceedings, uh, but you've really put it kind of, um, you've almost put it in its place. You've taken control of it by, it doesn't dictate everything. The, the outcome of whatever's going on with you, especially legally, the outcome is not, doesn't have any power over you. It, it, it doesn't determine everything that you are. So in, in, in a sense, you're already 
maintaining the win. You're yeah, you're already walking in as the winner. Decide the outcome is here. So we're getting really close to somebody making a decision um, about something that's going on in your life or you making a decision about something that's going on in your life. But this is a sense of for you, it's like you got your voice back. You know, and it's like you you are going to be listened to. With Mercury going into Libra, it's a very beautiful it's 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 a very beautiful energy for you. Um, so th there will be a, a way open for you to be able to speak again. It, uh, people will listen to you again. People are starting to see the validity in your words and in your work. So Star Seed Eternal talks about a fresh start, beginning over again with nothing. It's almost like the past has been forgiven. And then awakened awareness, is it's seeing within. This is when you look inside yourself, inside your body, inside your mind, um, getting real. But it's also looking into the underbelly of the beast and being able to understand what's making it tick and what's motivating it. It's like, I see your secrets. I understand what's really going on there. Um, and it's because you're being divinely guided to do so. So there is no fear in this process. In fact, there seems to be a little bit of um, a push toward making the inquiry and, and, and being bold and, and, and digging into the true motivations behind all the mechanisms. And in doing so, understanding how something works, now being able to sort of know how to speak to it. Um, there's, there's a constant theme here with your, with your Oracle cards that talks about harmony, um, and harmony is here, uh, a, a complete contrast, complete opposites are now aren't harmonizing this dissonance. What was once dissonant in your life is now coming back into a sense of harmony, earth star chakra. You are intuitively, I think you understand that things are going to work out in your favor. So there's this acceptance of the good outcome even before it's played out because there's complete faith in the psychic world and your intuitive connection right now, right? It's not arrogance, it's understanding. Um, radical expansion, you're opening, like, like this is you being able to once again cast out your demons. And now you can have an open heart simply because you forget given yourself you've let something off of your chest that needed to be done and 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 over with um uh, maybe something that was keeping you feeling like maybe i deserve this maybe i deserve a little bit of this pain and suffering and that's why it was staying around so long but this isn't this is a relinquishing of all of that suffering um soul star chakra merging with the divine almost receiving forgiveness and knowing that you've received forgiveness like a collective forgiveness you know um a sense of uh, like a jury or a community, uh, forgiveness, uh, redemption, and um, um, being able to connect once again. I think you were disconnected for a while and the refreshing feeling, the feeling that goes through you when you can finally feel like, wow, I'm back and everything is going to, everything is okay. So things are settling down, uh, Gemini. Throat chakra, express your truth. I told you there's so much recepting the crown chakra, the earth star chakra, your initiation into something that is bigger and larger than yourself, harmonic flight. Um, this is, I, this is finding harmony. And I don't know that it's in another person. I think it's more with people in general. Um, it's finding your voice again. And almost, it's almost like what your experience will be is you're finally starting to recognize in the 3D, people are listening to you again. They're starting to take you seriously again. People who may have abandoned you or turned their back on you are starting to open up to you again, primarily because you've realized, well, they don't, they don't matter as much as I thought they did anyway. And they don't mean as much to me as they used to. And they can turn back around. It, it, it doesn't matter. I have found my purpose and I have found a way to express that purpose. And this is giving you a great sense of empowerment right now. Connect with your soul family. So those people who truly understand you, um, really finding those people in your life who love you unconditionally. I think it, it, it is in some ways 
kind of like liberated you. These are the people who not that they don't necessarily share your bloodline, but they share your passions. They share your goals and aspirations and they share your ethics. These are the people that you belong amongst. Um, keep dancing in the moonlight. So how at the moon, dance in the moon. Um, like I said, this is going to be a wonderful dancing. Is also has to do with rhythm. Finding your rhythm. Find, this is two dancing cards. There's so much finding your rhythm. Finding your rhythm, finding harmony. I wonder if you're not involved in some sort of music making or entertaining just once again finding synchronicity and a beautiful tune and harmony in the vibrations around you say no if you don't want somebody you don't feel don't feel obligated in any way shape or form to do something that doesn't feel right for you and it's almost like now you've gotten back to the point where there you're all tuned up so you know what feels right for you now there's no more self-deception. <laughs> there, there's just you and the truth. And so you're able to refuse those things that don't that don't feed your soul. Reclaim your art. And I think this is the this is the the foundation of it. Gemini, it's you aligning yourself with what you really love to do. Um, and maybe had to put on the back burner for whatever reason. But it's like when you find that again, it's almost like, and I would encourage you to pick up an instrument or learn how to sing or learn how to play or start a band. Because it's almost like when you start to recognize the harmonies outside of you, it starts to harmonize and tune up everything inside of you. Decide the outcome. Um, you made a decision to prioritize um, this feeling. Prioritize what heals you. That's what you made a decision to do. You you made a decision to prioritize what heals you over what everybody else on the outside says that you have to do because you know better now. You understand very clearly that if you're not in tune, it doesn't matter if you're showing up every single day loyally and like a good little boy or girl and yeah, you get a star on your chest, but it, it's shallow, it's hollow and it's not going to get you anywhere you if if you are not healed and complete inside yourself so this is a decision to prioritize your completeness to prioritize um, your own internal harmony let's go into the main reading so and this this is just this is just the truth and and yeah there was something that you were feeling guilty about it it had nothing it's not nothing to do with right or wrong it has to do with what you were feeling. And what you are feeling is what affects you every single day. And there was this sort of sense of maybe deciding to not feel it for a long time because it got in your way. Or it, it, it blocked you up. It, it, it didn't fit into, you know, the, the story or the script that you wanted everybody to hear, right? So there's just a sense of, yeah, you did put it away. You did repress it and suppress it and almost fight against it. And in doing so, you fought against yourself and you you almost separated yourself from yourself. You became a lot more false um, in order to maintain this image or whatever it is that you were expected to maintain or were expected to be. This is you getting rid of that image. This is you shedding whatever it was, was that initial decision to, um, you know, decide that I have to be this kind of person in order to be respected. Realizing I fucked up. I, I, it was stupid of me to even decide that because it wasn't even really important to me. What was important to me was, is what lay be, behind that. And I don't think you're expecting anything back. You're not expecting to make up with someone or um, get your money back. You're not expecting compensation or even reconciliation. This is 100% you on you. Um, you making that decision to make yourself whole again by not lying to yourself anymore, by actually healing, feeling it to heal it. Truth transcends illusion is the, was the first card out. This is dragonfly energy. Aquarius energy, doing what's right for the community, um, almost accepting whatever the community wanted to hear or 
um, needed to hear, but also just getting outside of yourself, making life about more, more about others than it was about you. Um, but this is just you actually announcing the truth of yourself to everybody not worrying about what they wanted to hear. Life is speeding up, came out next, and this is your energy. This is your progress. Things are starting to come together for you, like the double helix. This could be uh, children or fertility, but there's this sense of things really picking up. In other words, the truth is coming out. The truth about you, uh, maybe truth that you tried to suppress, maybe truth that you were a little bit afraid of or ashamed of, and now you're not because you're owning it entirely as a part of who you are even if who you are isn't some sort of perfect and it's all because you're ready to let the poison out you're so sick of keeping this down inside of you and sicking sinking sickening yourself it's almost like the suppression of this truth was sickening you and i'm not saying this was a truth that hurt somebody else it, it's not even about that what it is was a self-judgment that basically crucified yourself before you even knew how anybody else would react it's like you decided that no i can't do this i can't do this so i won't do this but it it shouldn't have been that way it, it was like a poison that kind of sunk inside of you and now you're basically letting it all out you're letting it all out to liberate yourself and you're putting it all out there. Like whoever wants to judge, you're putting yourself on the chopping block. Whoever wants to judge, wants to judge. Whoever um, wants to feel is going to feel. It's like you're honoring your feelings by not letting them be. Um, it's You're honoring your feelings by not judging them, by not being super self-critical. And now the pain is gone. All of this prodding, all of this nagging, all of this suffering is over with as soon as you let out the truth. This is the truth either coming to you or somebody's telling. It's like you're finally able to tell the truth and let it out. It hurt for a while. It scared you for a while. But now you're liberated from it. This is scorpionic energy, but kind of squashed. Whatever you were hiding underneath and you thought was too ugly to share, that's not true anymore. Love is all around. This is your energy too. A feeling of being, once again, music, harmony, of being free. You know, like you're not caged anymore. So there was a secret that you were holding on to. And now you could finally talk about it out loud. There is this energy, this very Cancerian energy, double time here. So, um, somebody was guarded, protecting, defending, maybe a huge burden, right? And then this is a, a almost like the transition between life and death or death and life, death and rebirth. Um, this is somebody finally being able to move on. In a sense, you were keeping a truth from somebody so that you wouldn't hurt them, Um but the truth is there was now because it's almost like they're trying to block themselves from moving on, right? That's, that's what this is. Or you were trying to block yourself from moving on. Like this was your energy. You knew that as soon as you felt this, the next stage would begin. And maybe you just weren't open to that. This is also, uh, if you're dealing with a Cancerian, um, this sense of trying to block the change trying to not acknowledge it, trying to not allow it to happen. But it, it just basically, Aquarian energy came, the, it, it's like you've been liberated. And it could very well have been you got messages or, or sent out messages, a spirit kind of like came in and sort of liberated you by doing the hard work for you, letting the cat out of the bag kind of liberated everybody in this circumstance. So this is feeling free now, feeling unencumbered, unencumbered. And this is messages, messages and divinely guided, um, yeah, no messages coming from spirit. Hawk is sort of the delivery person for spirit. The, the, the Metatron, if you will, the voice of the great spirit that helps to connect people to the truth the spirit wants them to know. So there is this sense of this truth setting you free, these messages that you received or or word that got out actually uh, liberating, liberating you. And I think for a while um, you were trying to hide from, it's like you were trying to block out the inevitable um, because the inevitable seemed like the worst thing that could possibly happen to you or your reputation. Uh, but that's not the truth. 
um, at all. I, I think you gave up that. It's almost like the fear itself started to scare you more than the fear of the outcome. And that in and of itself was motivation to just make you stop. Um, make you stop running, make you stop hiding and just, yeah, okay, judge me. Absolutely, if you need to, judge me. But my decision was to be honest. My decision was to liberate myself from my own self-judgment and criticism. And you know what? This is me. And the wonderful thing about coming out and saying this is me is now the people around you will be the people who actually accept you and love you. That's what it is. Um, really wonderful energy. It is because you're getting your voice back. For so long, I just felt this repression like this, this, like I said, a boot on your throat, just pushing you down. You, you felt like you couldn't express yourself, but now it's back. Your ability to do and say the things that you feel and be yourself again, it's back. It's really beautiful energy. So Gemini, let's get into this. I know I said some people comment like I, I talk a lot, but I say nothing. Um, I think that those are people who are incapable of having philosophical conversations. <laughs> it's like, just tell me when my man is going to come. Just tell me when this is going to happen. Just tell me what she said and what's really going on behind the surface. Um, I'm not petty. Uh, I don't think like that, so fuck you. Um, anyway, here we are. <laughs> I don't know how I had to say that, but I like I, it needed to come out. Maybe I've just been inspired by you to just let out the truth. Now, here is the unknown card. Do not fear the unknown. This is a time of deep exploration and transformation. Unfamiliar territory leads to new horizons. You're not afraid of the unknown. You're, 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 there's, there's no more fear and more or less, I think you're, you're not afraid to make things known, right? But this is a sense of angels are telling you, you don't, don't be afraid when, if you're feeling the sense of intrepidatiousness, then you go ahead and feel it because it's what you're supposed to be feeling. It's a correct feeling. This is a good vibe to get into. You're right, Gemini. You're supposed to move forward now. And 10 to 1, the lack of fear is coming from that guidance through spirit. There's so much crown chakra energy here. You know it's the right time. So trust that, um, trust that, that faith. Vision is here. Taking forever for this camera to focus. Sorry about that. A positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. Your love has the power to influence and transform the current events. It's almost like you've been liberated from hate. It's almost like you've been liberated from the need to hate somebody in order to justify leaving them or leaving behind an opportunity. You don't, you're liberated from that. You've liberated yourself from that obligation to maintain that false script. And now it's just like, no, you know what? I love you. I want the best for you. And even if you're still angry with me, even if you're still hurt, um, the bottom line is I, I, I need to get back to myself again. I, I can't keep this combative energy anymore. It's like, it's like, it's like forgiving to free yourself compassion there you go when you show greater compassion towards yourself the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings and you could very well have been trying to hate somebody just to justify hurting them and there's a sense of now you coming to this balanced conclusion of you hurt them because you hurt them you didn't want to hurt them but you hurt them because you know, my actions may not link with your actions and you can hurt somebody without being a dick. But there is that sense because you didn't so didn't want to be a dick. You turned to really defend yourself and were intentionally a dick because it was like that's what people were expecting you to be. So you became it. But the truth is you're not it. You're not it. 
and you're stopped you you've put it against that you've put aside that heavy this is who i have to be mantle and now you're just like no it's like i don't want you to hurt i don't want me to hurt whatever you need to feel it's like you're not intimidated by somebody else's feelings anymore you have compassion for what you went through and you have compassion for what they went through and if they're hurting you'll pray for them or you know you're 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 sorry for them um you're not going to get lost in that sorrow but there is now this enabling like i don't have to defend myself i can actually love the person that i disappointed and i don't you know i don't i don't have to put up that extra wall that extra sort of like tough mantle blue angel is here this is Archangel Michael. You guys are divinely protected. I, Archangel Michael, am here by your side. I am all around you and will forever protect you. Remember this when you feel fearful. I love you. All is well. See, Archangel Michael is defending you and protecting you. And, and he, he wields a very mighty sword. And swords are rep a re representation of you in the tarot. You know, it's, it's, it's air energy of, of, of being able to have compassion that comes from objectivity. Of not making it so personal or making it a moral cause. But instead, that beautiful objectivity that all air signs are capable of. And as your ruling planet, Mercury. Mercury goes into a sister air sign there is a lightning there is a liberation there is a feeling like oh I can get back to being myself again and that kind of empowers you it really it really does empower you to um just tr like trust your instincts again and then last but not least what's coming through from the angels is prayer no matter how difficult the situation may seem all is possible ask we are listening and you're protected and it's going to help you find the way through it's going to help you communicate it's going to help you um it's going to help you just oh exhale exhale now if you want the fucking dirt let's go over to the tarot because a lot of stuff comes out over there the extended link is in the description box i'll see you guys over there